Okay, what's up internet? My name is Joshua and I'll start this video by saying I've wanted to make this video for a long time and I haven't done it because I've been afraid to because I know that what I'm about to say is going to be hard to hear for a lot of people. It's going to make some people feel uncomfortable. Some of you are going to be upset. Some of you are going to be angry. Some of you are going to be disappointed in me. That being said, if you are any one of those people, this video is actually made and intended for you. Okay, so on with the scary part. I'm gonna ask you some questions and I want you to be honest with yourself. Are you against homosexuality? Do you think that gay people are living a bad or sinful lifestyle? Are you opposed to marriage equality? Do you make gay jokes or negative gay slurs? If you said yes to any of those things, I want to talk to you for a second. I used to be against homosexuality. I used to be against same-sex marriages. I used to make gay jokes and negative gay slurs. I even wrote a comedic song about being anti-gay when I was a teenager. I grew up in the church and I know what the church has to say about homosexuality. I know what the Bible says. You don't have to quote it because I already know all the verses. My dad's a pastor. I grew up in the church. I know all about it. I had the same point of view as a lot of you watching this video. I thought it was my job to go out into the world and help those that struggled with sin. And one of those sins was homosexuality. So let's fast forward a few years. When I was 18, I moved to New York to attend the American Musical and Dramatic Academy so I could train in acting and, and music and singing and dance for film and television and Broadway. And I remember the very first gay guy that I met lived on the same hallway as me. And I immediately judged him. I immediately felt bad for him. I immediately felt like, all right, if I become friends with this guy, I need to help turn him away from that lifestyle. I remember sitting down with him and a few other people, and I got to know him a little bit, and he would tell us stories about his childhood and how he grew up, and he would sob as he was telling these stories because he was ridiculed and he was literally beaten up by other guys. He felt alone, he felt hated, and I was a little overwhelmed because I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna change this guy. It kind of seems like it's just part of who he is. And the funny thing is, I didn't change him. He actually started to change my way of thinking. Let's fast forward a little bit more. I moved to LA and in Los Angeles, I became buddies with this other guy who was like a hardcore Christian, really nice guy, but he struggled with being attracted to other guys. And we would meet every single week at a fast food restaurant and he would confide in me because he wanted me to help him stay accountable so that he would not pursue these attractions that he was having for other guys. And this guy would also sit there and cry in front of me because he didn't want to feel those things. He didn't want to feel anything for other guys. And let's fast forward even more. I became a singer on cruise ships in Hawaii and in the Bahamas and the Caribbean. And then I also did a national tour of a Broadway show. And in all these situations, I was constantly being surrounded by different ways of thinking, different religions, different ways of being raised. And what they did was it forced me to think outside of the bubble that I was raised with. Because I was constantly seeing all these other things and all these other people, and I started loving these people. Not as labels, not as religions, not as sexual preferences, but I love them as people. Recently I've had a lot of conversations and even arguments with people that think that both sides of this spectrum should tolerate each other. And my answer to that, and my rebuttal to that is, absolutely not, I can't tolerate that. You think that you're acting in your faith, and that's your right, but by doing that, you are spreading hate and a negative outlook on a group of people that don't choose to be what they are. So, regardless if you think you're doing the right thing, if you think you're doing something out of love, out of what the Bible says, or out of what your culture says, you're wrong. It's not out of love. That is not love. You're hurting people. I mean, the comments on YouTube alone about homosexuality are heartbreaking. Here are some that I found just today. So imagine any of those things being said to you or your children or people that you love. No one deserves that type of ridicule and that type of hate. And when you say tolerate both sides, you're saying let's tolerate a mindset that is negative towards a group of people that can't choose who they are. And I don't stand for that. To me, it's the same issue as racism and women's rights and bullying. I'm going to stand up for the people that need to be stood up for. So you hear gay people all the time standing up for other gay people. It's time for straight people to stand up and say stop. There is a right and a wrong side. 
and I've chosen the right side, I'm going to challenge people that are watching this video. Your friends might be against homosexuality, your parents might be against it, your community might be against it. It takes one person to stand up and say, this isn't right. Be that person. Stand up for what's right. Stand up for what love is. It's not a cliche. It's not just a quote. Loving someone is an action. Choose love. It is simple. You just gotta fight for it sometimes.